camera 2 looks good for camera 3. Let's truck right a little bit and pedestal down. We have one minute to the open. Could you sit up for a sec, Colleen? So we can make sure your shot is set. Okay. Okay, just pan, pan left on 3 now. Okay. There's a great new way to pay for your smartphone and at camera Vero one. Wireless. It's called Vero Tilt down now. Down touch and pan right. With we have Vero 30 now, seconds to the you open. Get faster ready. Phone upgrades. You get low Pat, we're ready for control. And you get free assurance device protection for your new what phone. What did you want for camera one? Sign up for Vero um, now just pan right. and get Tilt these down top smartphones for only one dollar down. Switch today and we'll pay you up to six hundred dollars per line. Plus, you'll love this family deal. Get four lines with unlimited data, talk, and text Ten for just one hundred sixty bucks per month. Make the switch to Vero now. Closed captioning of NTV in. News is brought to you by Good Samaritan Hospital, the medical center centered on you. NTV, Central Mike's and Music Western VOA. Nebraska's most watched news. This is First at Five. Spin it, mix A. Fundraising efforts Twin continue after VOB. those dangerous tornadoes near Pilger. Tonight at five, we'll hear from the governor about how Nebraskans help each other. Mixed and beat. Team USA did Somebody not win one. yesterday's World Cup match, but they didn't lose either. We'll take a look at the highlights. Wipe one. Cooler weather in the forecast, but my so are showers and thunderstorms. Take maps. We'll have all the details in your first alert weather so my camera tonight two. on First at Five. And fade it, mix two. Well, Nebraskans help Nebraskans joined by volunteers from all 50 states. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at Five. Cleanup continues after it's devastating tornadoes. Our bureau chief, Steve White, talked with the governor today, joins us live. Steve, the boxes area to my bureau. around the community of Pilger, what are the greatest needs right now? Colleen, the need for volunteer manpower probably tops the list and will continue for some time. My Financial donations are the other big need. Take governor eight. Dave Heinemann seems like he has just traveled from one disaster to the next lately with severe weather in every corner of the state since Mother's Day. As he visited with state employees today, he thanked them for supporting organizations like the United Way and all those helping recovery efforts, especially in Pilger. Take B stop. Uh, I think we had close to 2,000 18 seconds of real We've difference. VO continues. All over America, every state. Uh, come into uh, Pilger, but it's really what Nebraskans are doing for other Nebraskans, and I just want to say thank we'll do a two you. Two-shot boxes, thank and you. then camera. Uh, you're making a one. real difference. That's it. The devastation in Pilger hits close to home for one Grand Island woman who's used to coordinating volunteer efforts. Local United Way executive Karen Rathke says there's a reason Pilger calls itself the town Still my bureau. too tough to die. We will hear Take from bureau. that boxes. coming up tonight at six including much more on how you can get involved with the recovery. Boxes to my camera. A lot of people helping out for sure. Steve, thanks so much. Well, federal Take assistance one. is available to Northeast Nebraska producers who lost livestock in those recent tornadoes. Take full USDA screen. has offered <coughs> $100,000 to producers to help camera them properly OTS is next. of animal carcasses. Producers have until July 18th to apply. The assistance is available through the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service. Producers in Stanton, Wayne, Dixon, Thurston, coming, and Cedar counties may be eligible. Stand by other counties three. may be added if other storms hit before the deadline. A 26-year-old man has been arrested, accused of fatally shooting next. another Lincoln man. Lincoln police say 26-year-old Danny Tucker has been booked into jail on a murder allegation. Authorities say Tucker is suspected of killing 31-year-old Earl Richardson III. The shooting occurred late Friday night at a home about a mile east of downtown Lincoln. Stand by camera Richardson two. Richardson was pronounced dead at the scene. Take Recent two. Recent storms have brought plenty of rain. Camera three, to one shot, Colleen. Now rain and flooding are creating major problems for other parts of the nation as well. Stand by ABC's ASAP. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez shows us the impact. Take ASAP. The water Package is 126, rising. standard out. In parts of the Midwest, flooding leaving Pan left roads to touch on covered, camera three. cars submerged, and bridges, including this one connecting Minnesota and Wisconsin, and zoom in. closed. It puts a huge inconvenience 
on the people who commute from Wisconsin to Minnesota for their okay. jobs. Camera three looks good. Relentless rain leaving the Mississippi River several feet above flood stage. One minute in package. It's been round after round after round of showers and thunderstorms across uh, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota. And all of that rain ends up in one place right along the Mississippi. In parts of North Texas, storms brought as much as eight inches of rain, leaving thousands of people without power and neighborhoods underwater. I had to break through the window and crawl through the window. I couldn't find the dog at first. I found it on my grandparents' bed, hanging off the side with her finger. 30 her seconds in package. Blanket, hanging, like kind of dog, dog paddling. But a much different day on the water for these guys in Iowa. Woo! Making the most of the rapids all that rain left behind. As far as kayaking and the waves 15. concerned, it's perfect. Conditions praised by kayakers and helpful for the drought, but a major headache for others in the heartland with a Five threat seconds, of stand by camera rain three. in the forecast. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. Take three. Now here at home, the governor made his first public return to the Grand Island Vets Home today since his decision to build in Kearney. Take aim. Things have been quiet on the Vets Home front. Grand Island leadership continues to Stand oppose this move and the state continues to push for federal funding. Take B BSOT, 19 seconds in that regard. My understanding, the continues. Camera one is the next. first 20 or so, so we're very close to receiving federal funding either later in this fiscal year or the early part uh, of the next fiscal year. That's where we're at right now, and we're continuing to try to move forward in that regard. That's it. Heinemann spoke at an event for state employees, many of them from the veterans' home. He did not address the situation in his remarks, though, which was an event encouraging one. state employees to support charitable giving. In a Take mixed one. decision this morning, the United States Supreme Court took away some of the Obama administration's authority to tighten emission standards for greenhouse gases. Take aim. Those justices ruled Camera the Environmental Protection Agency cannot regulate greenhouse gas emissions from all industrial facilities. But the high court said the agency can require greenhouse gas controls at some larger facilities, my camera including three. power plants and refineries. Take President three. Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama are hosting a Working Family Summit in Washington, D.C. today. The event highlights economic issues affecting American families at home and in the workplace. One issue in particular, Standby flexibility for families when it comes to balancing work and home. Take BSOC. I'm going to be taking some 22 action, seconds. Uh, a presidential An emergency situation is the federal agency on camera two after to SOT. Be very clear to their employees uh, that with across uh, the nation and my view music. that offering flexibility where possible uh, is the right thing to do. We don't want people having to choose between an emergency family situation. and work, uh, when you've got, two. Uh, uh, an emergency situation. That's it. Take two. Elsewhere, a passenger train derails in Massachusetts after a Mixing. car ends up on the track. My VOB. And a great white shark is spotted in New Jersey. Here's a look at news from across the nation. Mixed Three beat. people died after an Amtrak train hit a vehicle and derailed in Massachusetts late Sunday night. The train was en route from Washington to Boston. Three people inside the vehicle that was apparently just driving on the tracks were killed. None of the 180 passengers and crew members on the train were hurt. Officials say there are no so railroad wipe crossings to in that area. Investigators are looking into how the vehicle ended up on those tracks. And mix the director of the bioterror lab at the CDC has been reassigned. The move follows a potentially deadly mistake that exposed dozens of CDC workers to anthrax. So far, investigators have found no signs of contamination. But the agency is providing vaccines and antibiotics to more than 80 lab workers as a precaution. Mix B. And a great white shark was this spotted this weekend off the coast camera of southern New Jersey. Fishermen on a 35-foot boat the World had Cup. their cameras rolling as that shark circled the vessel several times. Finally, that shark so grabbed a two. chum bag off the boat and swam away. Faded. Yikes. Take two. Ah. Jaws, <laughs> cue the music, right? Well, the U.S. soccer team had a rough weekend so in the World Cup in a. Brazil, There's but the they didn't lose. But the taste of victory was denied them literally at the last minute. And track nuts. Team USA fans had good reason to cheer from here at home. Captain to Clint the Dempsey is the cue right before the next took the lead. Team USA's Jermaine Jones and then okay. tied the score. Then cue U.S. team captain Clint Dempsey. 
Nets. Yeah, on the verge of a big win with 30 seconds left to side. play, Portugal dashes the U.S. dream, pulling out a two-all tie. Well, there's Take definitely B a couple things. Uh, we'll no duration, our QV continues. Teams are next. Uh, to just get past 30 seconds. Um, that's the crazy thing about soccer. It, it happens so quickly. It's the small details. And uh, so we'll look, uh, see what we did wrong, and see if we can cor correct it for next game. That's it. Okay, the next job for the U.S. club. Oh, my apologies, I didn't put World in the timer. I'll keep that. That's my fault. Germany. So my camera two and bump. Thursday, a tie would guarantee Team USA a spot in the next round. All right, another Take round two. of Spin storms it. this morning. Some plenty of rain, but plenty of sun this afternoon. Kids full forecast mix is a. next. Plus, it's, mix it's a trendy diet right now, the paleo diet. But is it really right for you? We'll take a closer look. Mix VOB. And she's flying around the globe Nexio. following the path of her namesake. We'll have Amelia Earhart's story. That's coming up. And fade. Track Nexio. MTV, where your news comes first with Seth Denny, Colleen Williams, Ken Fountain Weather. This is MTV News First at 5. The news is presented Open Air Nursery, home of the Bump Up Pot. Ice cream, flowers, and fireworks. Can life get any better? Open July 4th. Look for the big cone, Highway 30, Shelton.